Welcome back to What Acres. Today, we're getting pigs. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Hey, Bonnie, how are you? Spot, what are you doing, girl? Are you singing some beautiful morning songs? Lil Ro, what are you doing off your nest, girl? Hold on, ladies, let me get your lights on. There you go, chickens, run, Dizzy. It's always so quiet in here without the ducks. Thanks, Sammy, you're making noise. Hey, chicken, go ahead and jump. Go ahead and jump, girl. I gotta get the door open. Come on, beep beep. Come on, chickens, wake up. We gotta do something about these broody girls. They just keep adding way too many eggs to their nest and they're not hatching out any babies. We gotta do some little help here. You have any babies with you, girl? If anybody's gonna have them, it's you. Nope, we're gonna have to switch your eggs out. On spot. Sammy, my boy, we might be moving you out today. I might need this little pen for the pigs to start off. Oh, Rufio. Hump pop. I already got two coats of paint on the pig pen, making it look all nice and fresh. bottom strip there on the bottom four or five blocks though yet and it's supposed to be 77 degrees today so i'm hoping i'll be able to get that painted and then we can move the pigs in once it dries gotta open up the door get enough fresh air flowing through here screen door up pop come on we gotta get the ducks out we moved the ducks. They're not in the little house right now. They're actually up in the barn. And I got a big pull out here for them today. Go ahead and open the door, bud. I'm just gonna hurry up and open up Bert's house real quick. He's got a smaller house. There you go, Bert. Come on out, bud. And I really need to check on Jim and Pam because Pam, the turkey, just hatched out baby ducks yesterday. All right, ducks, I'm gonna open it up for you. Wide open, ducks, come on out. Now right, you go this way, pup. We're gonna come on this side so the ducks have a free or a clear line of sight out into the pen. There you go, girl. I only got to see a couple of them come out yesterday. Puppy, don't bother them bees. And then Mumbles and the rest of them took too long. I had to go do other things and then I just noticed that they made it out. So I have the GoPro set up today. I want to see Mumbles come down my ramp. Come on, ducks. All right, I might give them some time and go check on Jim and Pam real quick. We have the GoPro on. I'm Bert, snowballs. Come on, Pop. We have baby ducks in the turkey hut. Be nice, buddy. We got a mama and a papa turkey over here. We're gonna get that wrap off you today, Jim. I don't think it's helping you out at all. That vet didn't wrap you up too well. I think my wrap was doing a lot better for him. He could move around a lot better. And with my wrap, he was still able to use the perches. Ever since we wrapped him up with a splint on there, he's been stuck in the box with Pam. Huh, bud? And Pam has some babies in here now. She needs some more space from you, bud. Where are they, Pam? Let me see the cute little peepers. Did they get any food and water, Pam? I put this up here last night, and then I grabbed each one of the three ducklings and dipped their beak in the water so they know it's up here. They don't have to try and get down for it. Pam, I just want a little sneak peek, girl. A little sneak peek, no? We never candled your eggs, but I guess we didn't have to, girl. You just took care of it. Thanks, Bert. Really proud of you, too. Good job for being the stepdad, Jim. You protect those ducklings. Don't step on them. Your water, feed, and calcium's all good. Come on, pup, we got work to do this morning. Now we do have the goat pen and the goat hut ready, but the goats aren't ready. Oh, uh, Bert, any of the ducks come out yet? Oh, they did. They're all out. I think they're all out. Where's Mumbles? Mumbles is out too. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to go back on the GoPro and see how it all happened. I missed it all. I was in there with Jim and Pam. Open up this valve, fill up our big pool of water. I'm not letting them out. In... Thanks, Bert. I'm not letting them out into the field, at least not right now. I want that field to dry out a little bit. You can see the water just sitting out there. And the more that the ducks play in the water, the more mud they create. So I'm trying to get that grass to grow here for the spring. I'm also gonna be moving them out of that front pasture, trying to give that area some time to recover too. So I'm gonna be putting them into this grassy hill here and opening this gate up so they have everything behind the barn to come back here and start fertilizing. I gotta go in and make sure all the ducks made it out. Yesterday I came in here and there was one duck that didn't make it out with all the others. What do we have here? We got big pile of eggs in the corner. I think this stall's working out perfect for the ducks. Huh, pup, we got pigs to go get. All right, we checked on everybody up here at the barn. We gotta check on the twins on the way down and then we'll check on the peepers down at the shed. All right. Hey, Sammy, we gotta get everybody feed first this morning. Hold on, ladies, coming out, coming out. Now let me step on you. Beep, beep. Rufio, I got your breakfast, bud. There we go, top you all ladies off. The ducks need some? Oh yeah. What's going on, ducks? Are you gonna need a booster step for this pole? Look at all that mud you already put in there, girls. I put it next to the splash pad so they had a little ledge I can jump into, but I don't know, they're gonna have to try and figure it out. I don't have a lot of time this morning. I'm waiting for my brother's text to tell me to go over and help him load up the pigs. Sit on the nest for a little row until she gets back, girl. Save them eggs. We got two chickens down here working together. Everybody else could lend a feather. Huh, Pop? What do you think, ducks? You wanna play in the big pool? Mumbles, what about you, girl? I want you to get all cleaned up. You're looking a lot whiter, though, Mumbles. Yeah, you're looking a lot whiter, girl. I'm gonna put this log here. Maybe it'll give him a little booster step up into the pool. It's almost time to shut this off here. Echo Pop, go ahead and shut the valve off, bud. What are you doing? That's not a dog door, that's a duck door. Oh, it supports you. That's good. I honestly was a little uncertain whether or not that was going to support his weight, but I guess he tested it for me. Go on, Pop. Use the ramp. Nice. Good job, buddy. Oh, we need the GoPro. Probably need this for the pigs, too. What do you think, Gina? What's going on over here? What's going on? Silly ducks. What was that noise? A little sneeze. Sounds like a little duck sneeze. Get this hose out of the way. Alright ducks, I'm gonna be bringing pigs home. Huh pop, we're bringing piggies on the homestead. And I'm not entirely ready yet. We'll get there. My little row. Go sit on your eggs, girl. I'm about 90% sure I'm probably gonna put the pigs in here with Sammy. Well, not with Sammy, I'll pull Sammy out. But this is a nice little area I could put the three little pigs while they're small. What are you doing back there? You got your head in a bucket. And I'm only gonna move them in there for a day, maybe two days until the paint dries over here and I can get them shifted over into the main pen. So I think the white paint's looking really good in here with two coats, really freshened it up. But I did get a flexible rubber paint that I wanna put a strip across the bottom. It's supposed to be easier to wash, so I'm hoping it'll be a little bit more durable so the pigs, whenever they rub up against the block, the four or five blocks that they hit will be a little bit cleaner. We'll see how it works. They are pigs, but I like to give them a nice, fresh, clean start. And then we'll start figuring out what to do about their outside run. I'm on bulls. Well, the ducks had no problem getting in the pool. Look at them all in there. Loving the big pool. I 
I actually got it out here for Mumbles though, and she's still in the mud. Come on, pup, work to do. Atta girl, little rogue, get back to work. I'm gonna come over here, check on the twins real quick. How you boys doing? Just getting bigger and bigger, huh? Yeah, look at those green tails. You're just like your daddy. Here's some scratch grain to fix through. I'd like to find those two roosters a good home. I'm not gonna send them to somebody for meat. If they're gonna be for meat, I'll just keep them for myself and I'll send them in with my meat flock this year. I was really hoping they were both gonna be hens and I could just integrate them into the flock, but they both seem to be roosters and I just don't have enough room for more roosters. A decent ratio is one rooster per 12 hens and I have 39 hens and three roosters. So two more would just be over the limit. One more stop. Hey, little peepers. How's everybody doing in here? Trying to be nice and quiet, huh? Everybody still running around? Good. If you missed the last update, we did lose one of the little peepers. They sent a bonus chicken. I ordered 25, they sent 26, and somehow whenever they do that, we always lose one. But by the looks of it, everybody else here looks healthy, so I'm really happy with that. They need some food though. Guys, you were just burning through it. What about your water? Oh, it's pretty low too. We'll get you all set up here this morning. First things first, gotta get them some water. And I have a pitcher sitting waiting right here. Perfect. I'm coming, Tweety Birds. All right, little ones. Hello. Can you get that box? All right, here you go, hungry, hungry peepers. Get your water set up. Fill up the water and put the pebbles back in there so they don't drown. That just gives a little bit of surface area for them to push off of so they don't have a big basin of water to fall into. They nod off and fall asleep really easily, so you don't want it a big pool of water for them to fall into. Oh, pop. Looks like everybody was super hungry this morning, so they're all attacking the feeder. And we'll just add some fresh shavings in here too, guys. Keep it clean for you. It's okay. There you go. There you go, little ones. Yeah, you little puffball. Look at that booty. Little diaper butt. All right, you little cute puffballs. We're getting pigs today. All right, my morning obligations are taken care of. Now I'm just waiting for the call that the pigs are ready to be picked up. So I'll bring you back out here when it's time. All right, we're heading on out. <laughs> hey, Moo Cow. How are you doing? Piggies! Little piggies! You're so little this year! You're a little bigger! What kind are they? The Yorkshire? Yeah, those were the show pigs. Some of the more show pigs. Mm -hmm. Okay, Moo Cow, we're not hurting them. I 
Oh. You getting tired? Yeah. One more. Come on. One more pink one. Not so bad. Three little piggies. I just want to take a look at the moo cow. Hey moo cow. I hear ya. Got some show piggies and the ones we're leaving behind. All right piggies, you can settle back down. We're leaving. All right puppy, we are home and we got to figure out how we're going to get these pigs out to the barn. The field is too wet to drive in. I'm actually thinking I might be able to use Squat's Run over there. So this year the three little pigs that we got are pretty small. So I think I can put them inside Squat's Run and have them just walk inside the box as I drag it up to the barn. Hold on piggies, we'll get you out quick. This is Squat's Run and it's going to come in handy today. I need, I need the impact with a 225. I'm gonna have to take this roosting bar out so the pigs aren't tripping over it. Hold on, Pop, hold on. What? Yep. You gotta keep him out of the way. Yeah. I'll get the pig and manage the other one. Hey, little ones. Well, pigs aren't the easiest thing to handle, so we're trying to take precautions. I'm going to park inside the pasture. Come on, ducks. We're moving you into the duck pen. Come on. Move on. Good job, Rufio. Come on, ducks. Come on, ducks. Everybody go inside. Inside the duck pen. We got work to do. You guys made a mess of that pool. All right, Sammy, you got to move, bud. Hey, Sammy, you're moving out. Come here, bud. Come on. Hop down, bud. Come on. There you go. Go on out with the ladies. Moving you out, buddy. All right, move it, ladies. Move it, move it, move it. Move it. Come on. Come on, chickens. Come here. Come on, get in here, chickens. Get most of you in there. All right, we got to bring them in and put them in the back stall for now. They're going to have to live in there for a little bit. All right, they're going into the back stall. Hey. Get in. Life, I want you scaring my piggies. Hold on, Pop. Oh, oh boy, you grabbing them? Who, who's grabbing here?
There you go. There's your friend. Okay. Blight. How'd you get out, pup? Echo! Get in. I don't need your help, puppy. Piggy! You wanna go with your friend, buddy? Everybody safely inside. Dalmatian, you are not safe. You are not safe inside, girl. Come here, Pepper. Oh, I know chickens, I know. All right, piggies, I'm gonna let you settle in. I need the pin. You're gonna stay in here for a little bit, pigs. All the chickens okay? All right, you can let them out. Okay, puppy, you can go see your pigs. Huh. New friends on the homestead, huh, Pop? Now nah, let them settle in, bud. We'll play with them later. Whew. Why are you being bad, little girl? You trying to eat my pigs early? They're not ready yet, Lils. Just a rotten hound. Yeah, you are. You're free, ducks. You can come back out. It's all safe now. Come on, pup. Just pulled down here and Echo ran right back up to the barn to see the pigs. What are you doing? Come on, pup. Echo pup loves when we get new animals. Come on, buddy. We'll see him later. Let him settle in. No, puppy. Hey, hey. <whistles> Stay here, bud. We gotta let him settle in. Hey, Jim. Hey, Pam. What is happening right now? Why are you on the ground? And where's all the babies? Out, out. You got him down here with you? What's going on, Pam? Me, nee, you stay out, pup. I can't let you in here right now. Hold on, buddy. Pam will just beat you up. Hold on, girl. Your your tweet Tweety birds need water. They're ducks, girl. They're not turkey. They need water. Oh, calm down, calm down. I'm just trying to help. Here you go, little ducklings. That's what you need. Pam, Pam, just trying to help, girl. You're doing such a good job. Pam hatched out three little ducklings, and they're all doing well so far. I'm hoping she stays a good mom. I don't really have another place to put the ducks right now, so I'm letting Pam be a mom. She's doing a good job so far. They somehow got all the way off of there, and they came down here underneath Pam. I'm imagining they probably jumped off somehow, and Pam had to come down here just to be with them, because she can't get them back up there. So I'm happy that I came in here to check on them, so I can put their water down here and their food, so they can get something to eat and drink. You're doing so good, Jim and Pam. And I am going to come up here in a little bit and take Jim's wrap off of them and put a regular wrap on them. That'll help them be a little bit more mobile. Good job, Pam. All right, Echo Puff's been running out to the barn every chance he gets to come see the pigs. Every time I open the door, he's running straight out to the barn. He loves when we get new animals, huh, bud? By the looks of it, they didn't break out yet, so that's good. Hey, Sammy. You happy? No, what are you doing in there, ladies? I don't want you inside this pen. I'm trying to get this all cleaned out. This is the pig pen now. You're done in here, ladies. Come here, Echo. We gotta get these chickens out. Come on. No, no, no. There we go. Come on, Sammy. Out you go. Got work to do in here. Now, what are these three little pigs doing? Hi, guys. I don't want to scare you. You guys settling in here? You like all the chicken noises? 
Did you try out the chicken feed Sammy left you? Echo, you're not going in there with them. Calm down, buddy. All right, it looks like I need to get you guys a bowl of water. Sorry, Rufio, had to let Sammy out. Just come in with your water, guys. Where do you want it? You piggies find the water. We'll make a mess of it shortly, I'm sure. Oh, pop, poppy, don't bother my pigs. Chickens, what are you doing? Why is everybody yelling? Why is everybody yelling? You chickens just want to sing me songs while I'm working up here? All right. Sorry, Rufio. I had to let Sammy out. There's no room for him right now. Huh, Sammy? All right, I'm gonna try and take advantage of this nice day and get this painted here so it can dry and maybe get a second coat on today. Then I'll be able to move the pigs in tomorrow. I think it's looking pretty good here with a strip around the bottom. Right when I finished, I decided I wanted it one block higher. So I went around and just made it one block higher. 
So hopefully the pigs can keep their mess down to five blocks. Huh, Pup? Echo Pup just does not want to leave the pigs alone. What are they doing over there, bud? They're grunting, huh? Are they settling in? Are they doing any eating? Hi, little ones. This year we were able to get some pigs with some nice color on them. So if you want to start dropping names below, that pink pig does have spots on her butt. We already have a chicken named Spot, so don't go there. But if you have some good names, leave them down below. And if any of them are good, I might pick them. Now, ladies, what is going on over here? You guys have been noisy all day long. We have too many broody chickens. All the other chickens don't have boxes to lay in. Well, they have more boxes, but they're using them all. Hey, Dot, Sedgwick, you're laying an egg too. And what's this, Dizzy on deck? Lucy on, <laughs> Lucy's up there too. Puppy, these chickens are wild puppy. What's going on over in the duck pen? Sammy getting all reacquainted with the ladies. It's a nice day, I'll go ahead and change out the ducks pools again, get them all fresh water. And then I think I'm gonna go mow the yards today because we're supposed to get rain tonight and I wanna try and get them mowed before that happens. I'm gonna leave the field long because the ducks like to forage through it and it's too wet to get the mower out there anyway without leaving a bunch of ruts. Oh Rosie, you sunbathing girl? Just airing out those feathers. But the pig pen's looking good. I'm gonna let this dry now, and then once I'm done mowing, I can come in here and do the second coat, and then we can get everything set up for the pigs. What are you doing, Lucy? You don't need to be in the food box. Is that gonna be your other nesting box? Sometimes they lay in the food. I have another box. I guess I'll get it out. Get it set up for the ladies. There you go, pup. Go ahead, sus, try it out. We got four boxes up here now, and I've moved all the eggs over so each box has some eggs. Go ahead and test it out, make a nice bowl out of all that hay for everybody else, sus. Get it all started for them. How you guys doing in here? Oh, I know, I know. A lot of smells in there, huh? You guys didn't spill your water yet? Good, hopefully it'll be nice clean pigs. Huh, pup? You don't need to smell these piggies. Right there, that's all you get, bud. You don't need to go in anymore. There you go, you can sniff their nose. Good boy, good boy. Uh-uh, don't push it, don't push it. That's all you get, they can come to you. Yeah, be nice to my little piggies, puppy. Good boy, uh-uh, no, 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 it's just head. Just enough room for your head. Yeah, you gotta be nice. Tell them that you're gonna be their protector. Yeah, tell them. They gotta listen to you. Huh, piggies? Oh, you quiet down. You gotta make sure they're locked in there, pup. We don't want any pig escapes this year. I honestly didn't take a good look at them yet. I did see that the pink one is a boy, but I didn't check the undercarriage of the other two yet. It's probably something I should do so you guys have a better idea of name suggestions. Stay here, pup. Stay here. Hold on, I just want to take a look at you. Yeah, you guys going to be friends. You're going to be friends. But they're going to get a lot bigger than you, Pop. Yeah, that's going to be an issue once they get bigger. Huh. What are you two? Take it easy, Pop. What are you, cute little piggies? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You don't go in anymore, Pop. You gotta stay here, Pop. Don't scare my piggies. What's under your undercarriage, you two? Take a good look at these piggies. Yeah, go ahead, relax, buddy. These are such good looking pigs. I didn't think I was gonna get this much color on them. Huh, Pop? Back up, back up. I know, they're pretty like you and you just wanna stay with them. Buddy, I don't want you, I don't want you in there today. Back up. Oh, I'm looking under that one. That one's looking like a girl. I don't see anything hanging. That one has something hanging. <laughs> Nothing under that one. What about you? I'm looking, maybe. Back up, back up. Oot. Buddy, how'd you get paint all over you, bud? I didn't see you lay in the wall. You're not listening very well, puppy. You're not listening to me. 
But you're being nice to the piggies. So that's good. Don't scare them though. I don't want them running, running over you, buddy. I know they're tiny right now, but don't spook them. I did want to see under. Well, it looks like these two colorful ones might be girls. What do you think, Pop? Are they girls? Out. Out. He only listens to loud commands sometimes. Whenever he gets all anxious, you gotta actually give him a command. You can't just talk to him. Okay, buddy. Oh, girl. What are you doing with all my hay? I moved the barrels from here. One went up to the turkey hut and one went up to the goat hut, so I don't need those there anymore. I have one back here I can still use for extra feed. Oh, finally, Anna, you came down. I went up and got all the hay and Anna followed me up there. I just couldn't get her down from the upper level. She just jumped down, so thank you, girl. I didn't want to have to chase you today. You want to lay in one of my boxes? We got four boxes here to choose from now, and they're actually all open. I can see the excitement on your face. Go ahead, pick one, anyone. There you go. All right, Dizzy, we got work to do. Don't open those bags. I need those for the pig pen once the paint dries. And I did get feed for him, so I have that here. I can open it up and give them some right now. They're eating some chicken feed that's left over. This is probably gonna be such a long video. Hope you guys don't mind. I had to throw it in here because the chickens kept pecking through the bag and I couldn't, they were making a mess. And this is a mixture from the local mill, so it's what they've been getting already. Here, piggy, piggy, piggies. Right here's your food, if you can reach this. Boom. I know you'll see that. You'll sniff it out. All right, that's going to be all for this one. We finally got the pigs, and they're actually smaller than I ever imagined, and we got some nice color on them. So if you want to start leaving some name suggestions down below, I'll start taking some suggestions. If you want to keep following along with everything here at Wood Acres, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. If you like this video, hit that like button before you leave. And if you want to help support the channel, after you subscribe, you'll actually see a join button. You can check that join button out and all the extra features that comes with it. You can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching. Hey, Sammy. Huh, Pop? We gotta go wash your bum.